What is going on guys? I'm Zachary Hills and in today's video I'm going to be telling you why you should be incorporating deloads into your workout program. But what is a deload you may ask? Well, it's a period of about seven days where people take time to rest and recover from their hard and strenuous training because your body builds up accumulated stress, especially on your joints and your tendons and your nervous system and those things usually just need a bit of time off to recover. I've broken this video up into three sections, why you should deload, when you should deload, and how you should deload. So let's move into why you should deload. The first reason, and which I believe is the greatest reason for you to deload, is it reduces the risk of injury. If you are injuring yourself, you're not there, you're not gonna be able to make gains. You can't train, you can't build muscle. The reason it reduces your risk of injury is because it lets your body recover from the accumulated stress that is, it has built up since the last time you deloaded. Personally, one telltale sign that I need a deload is that I start to get a little bit sore in places I shouldn't, like maybe my joints are starting to hurt. Um, yeah, just, just start, just general wear and tear uh, that is accumulated over weeks of training, week off, or deload week usually sorts that. And taking a deload week, I believe will help prevent those niggles being amplified into something bigger, which will remove you from the gym and stop you being able to train, stop you being able to build muscle. The second reason follows on from the first. Because you are fully recovered, you've had that week to recover, you come back to the gym feeling stronger, feeling bigger, feeling refreshed. And because you're in the gym feeling refreshed and stronger, you're gonna be able to train harder, lift more weight, create more stress on your muscles, and then get bigger, which is what we're all here for. So it's a win-win situation. The third reason is that it can reinstill the motivation you have towards the gym. This motivation is very hard when you are mentally and physically fatigued due to accumulated stress on your body and mind. I find if I'm feeling demotivated for more than a period of a few days to a week, it is time for me to take a deload. In this case, I usually take a full week away from the gym just as like a mental break so that's what I usually feel, demotivated, need a mental break. After that week, I come back to the gym, I'm feeling good again, wanting to kill every workout, and just smash it out, like I usually do. So just, everyone has times where they don't, don't feel too good in the gym. When should you take a deload? I would say that you should be taking a deload about every eight to 12 weeks, but you've also got to play it by ear. For like example, there's been times where I've been training for four or five weeks, and I haven't felt good, so I've taken a deload, and then the problem's been sorted. Uh, but then, yeah, so just gotta play it by ear, but also try and program it in every eight to 12 weeks. Some programs that you can buy or find online do this for you, but if it doesn't do that, there's been times where I've just taken a week off in the middle of a program, and I've come back and it's been fine. Maybe you feel a little bit weaker on the first day, but usually after that, you're all good. Some indicators that you might need a deload are demotivation, little niggles in joints or muscles or tendons, uh, feeling tired at the gym, feeling tired in your normal life, lack of sleep. Some of these very sim similar to the symptoms of overtraining. Now let's get to how do you deload? There are two types of deloading. The first is active recovery. The second is flat out taking a week off the gym. Active recovery is where you still go to the gym and usually go through the program you're doing but lift 50% of the weight. For example, this week I'm on a deload. Last week I was doing 180 for five on the deadlift. This week I was doing 140 for four. It's a big decrease. It's not a 50% decrease, but it's just what my program had in store for me. Go and do other things like just do exercises you enjoy. Just reduce the weight a bit. You don't want to, you just want to reduce the intensity, reduce the stress put on your body. And the week off is just, you've literally taken a week off the gym. You're not going into the gym to lift weights. You might want to go in there and do some cardio or do other things like mobility work, but you're just essentially taking a week off, off the weights. I usually just completely avoid the gym. Usually I'm taking a week off if I need a mental break. So I'm just doing things other than going to the gym. I should also mention, just in case you were worried, that taking a week off the gym isn't gonna affect your strength or size. You're not gonna lose any. That usually occurs after after two weeks 
of no training. So you'd be right in that respect. It is also a time for recovery. So you want to focus on those things like eating the right foods, eating the right amount of foods, sleeping correctly, sleep hygiene, all that stuff. You just want to make sure that week is fully utilized to recovering the best as possible. I'm here editing. I thought I should probably do a recap, a conclusion. So the main points of this video were take a deload every six to eight weeks or when you are feeling like you need one. A deload is usually a week. You've got two options. One, take a whole week off. Two, do active recovery where you lift 50% of your usual weight. And the deload week is usually for recovering. So sleep well and eat well. Um, Eat hard and train hard. I'll see you next time.